Today I'm doing my first food delivery ever on Uber Eats. It is raining. We got our first food delivery. We're taking this food to somebody. And I'm excited because we get to go together. As you guys know, with Uber driving, I can't take my beautiful wife, Katie. But today with Uber Eats, I can take Katie with me. Where with the Uber driving, it's only me. And you know, me and Katie, we spend a lot of time together. Katie and missed me. I do, you know, and I also, you know, like my last few Uber passenger rides have been really weird and creepy. And I guess delivering food, the potential for a creepy or weird uh, customer just isn't as likely. So, of course, today's a really crappy, rainy day, and there's somewhat a lot of traffic for me in the weekend. I'm just so glad that my passenger today is Katie. It's right outside of Bradenton, and it's kind of a, kind of a neighborhood over here. Guys, right, so the nice. next place we're going to is Mi Havana Latin Catering, one of my favorite Cuban restaurants. All right, so we just did our first delivery from Rita's to here in Bayshore Gardens or Onico, and now we're going to go get food from the Cuban place. There's always like a wait between passengers, so you're not constantly moving. But with this Uber Eats, it seems like you really you go from one to the next to the next. I didn't even look at the price on this one. You go from one pickup to the next to the next versus where when you're doing with passengers, there's like a wait between passengers. We're here at Mi Havana. Look at all this Cuban food, guys. Some of my favorite Cuban restaurants. They're getting the food ready behind me. So look at all this good Cuban food. I love this place. This is some all good Cuban food. You have yellow rice, con gris. One of my favorite Cuban places. We got these people's food, Cuban sandwich. Now let's get going. Let's go, let's get these people the, like Cuban the food. smell of this Cuban food is intoxicating. Whoever Poppy is, he's not getting this Cuban sandwich. On top of that, he's getting it. <laughs> I, no, I, I don't. I can smell that Cuban sandwich. I'm like, I want it so bad right now. We're picking this up here in Onico. By the way, one of the best Cuban cafeterias in all of like Sarasota, Brainton. Yeah. I want to come back to this uh, food truck later. Yeah, there's a lot of food trucks here. We in the hood. Oh, they got sandia, agua fresca. Oh, they got sandia, agua fresca. No, no mentira, I'll bring you your food if you live in the There are literally tombs five feet away from the road. Like, how did the permitting department even allow? Like, how does that even How How does, like, a tomb end up five feet from the road? Cuban delivering a Cuban to a Cuban in the hood, dog. Oh, okay. Grab what? a mango right there, dude. Right there, grab one. Look, just just stick your hand no. out. And grab. Look, grab right there. Look, grab one. No. Stick. Get out and grab one, bro. And the we's in the hood. Though. I dropped off the food, and there's like two Cuban guys next door, and they're like looking at the food after I dropped it off. I got a feeling those guys are gonna snatch the food. What do you think? We delivered it. We delivered so. it. Yeah. There's no doubt it's there. Nice food. They're gonna they're, take they're it. They're going for. It. They're going for. It. They're going for. Maybe it. that's his house. I don't know, man. Yeah. Are they going for? It? They're like taking the guy's food. Are they going for it? They're, they're just like, they're like, like looking at him, man. This is like straight up the hood back here. We in the hood, dog. They got barbecue over there and everything. It's so hot out here. We in the hood, dog. I mean, I be delivering food in the hood, dog. In the hood, dog. In the hood, dog. The hood, dog. The hood, dog. Right here is called the Onico Rose. They just had a shooting here. Um, let's see, let's see, three or four days ago, they just had a shooting here. I literally just, literally just made a video about uh, shootings in Bradenton two days ago, and there's already been another one. All right, so we are now going on a third delivery. Now, I'm uh, really upset because I looked at the map, and we were supposed to have got uh, $15, and I look at it now, and it only says $7, which makes me think that they changed the tip or they took away the tip after we delivered it which is kind of crappy because i really don't get what that was about but um we've done two trips and we only made seven dollars all right so this is the third delivery and i'm really upset because i go on the app and it says i've only made seven dollars and what makes me really angry about that is that when i accepted the rides i accepted 15 dollars of rides so we're gonna go now into west Bradenton. now west Bradenton has become like full of homelessness so Guys, West Bradenton, in theory, would be like the nicer side of Bradenton because um, it's closer to the beaches. However, so I've heard that like on this Uber Eats, like people will change the tip on you because literally I'm not doing this for free. I'm doing this for the amount of money that it said it would be. We'll figure out exactly what the deal is or what the crap's going on. 
So, you know, this side of Branton over here, in theory, it's closer to the beaches, so it should be the nicer side of town. But, like, actually, it's been getting pretty crappy down this way. Like, a lot of the homeless have moved into West Branton because they're afraid of how bad it's got towards, like, the center of the city. So, I'm kind of, like, in between deliveries now, so I really don't have a chance to look at what we're doing or what whatever the crap it was. But look at these hardworking people, guys. Look at that, bro. They're up there on a roof in the rain on a Saturday. When people say, you know, uh, you know, all oh, the illegals get all types of stuff for free, that they do, they deserve it. Look at that. I don't see any. I don't see any Americans up there on that roof. And then the, the truth is, they don't get nothing for free. They have to work like animals, but you know, they deserve it more than the people that are panhandling. And you got the they took our jobs. Oh, shut your mouth, Billy! Ain't gonna climb up on that roof. That boy ain't right. Okay, so what I don't like about this, it seems that if the person decides not to tip you, then I just did those three deliveries for $7. It's up to the person if they decide to tip you. The number you click on and accept isn't the number you're actually going to get. That's the number that Uber thinks you're going to get if the person tips you. All right, guys, so we're going on our fourth trip for today. We're going to Wendy's now. We received our first tip, so it looks like with Uber Eats, you get paid like, uh, I think an hour after the delivery is that the tip clears. So we'll see how the tip situation works. Now, the delivery we did, um, I think it was the second one we did today or the first one to those apartments? That was the first uh, one. the first one. So the first delivery cleared, and we got a $4 tip. Hey guys, so we are on our way to Wendy's with the Indies down there. I don't know if the money on this is going to be right, but at least we get to spend time together while doing it. Yeah. I got you, man. So we're going to go up in this Wendizzle. You know, first I thought it'd be a hassle getting in and out, but it seems like every restaurant we go to, it's ready to go. They have it ready, and it makes it a lot easier than passengers where you just don't know what the crap you're going to get. It seems like there's less of a crap shoot here. We're here at Wendy's, and we're picking up somebody's Wendy's. Let's get up in there and see what this is about. Up in here. And then they're going to have a Uber Eats area right up front. Wendy's, but there's kind of like a delay here of some sort. I've been here for a little bit. Seems like it's not ready. So I guess if like McDonald's, Wendy's and stuff like that, might be good to skip on if you're doing a driver because, you know, they might take longer than, let's say, like your mom and pop place. So I want to give you a tip already off the bat. I know it's my first day. But Wendy's, McDonald's, Taco Bell, places like that, that usually, the type of place that usually gets your order wrong to begin with, maybe the type of place you might want to skip on and not pick up from. All right, so if you are an Uber Eats driver or you've ever been one, give me some tips and advice. Quarter mile, turn right on 34 Street West using the right lane. Are there any scams that you should look out for? All right, guys, so we were out for two and a half hours. In those two and a half hours, we made less than $30. That brings the total to about $11 an hour, which is below Florida's minimum wage. On top of that, let's not forget that you're using your fuel and your vehicle. Now, Uber is considered a tipping type of job, but you're still providing a vehicle. It seems to me that what Uber drivers are getting paid in the state of Florida, particularly those who do Uber Eats, is far below what is acceptable for minimum wage in the state of Florida, and it seems like an unjust pay to me. I don't think I'm going to engage in this activity, at least not in the city of Bradenton. I'll do it again in the suburbs and see if it's a little bit better, but at least here in the city of Bradenton, drivers are making less than Florida's minimal wage overdriving 